So in the middle of the heat wave, we've come to Barrow, Breen. Breen, Barrow. Whichever way around. It's a bit, probably one of the biggest holiday resorts on the southwest. There is nothing here but caravan sites. Although we are hidden on the Caravan and Motorhome Club site, which surprisingly is really peaceful because literally behind the hedge, behind my head, there's an entire another caravan site, which Unity is farm. Unity Farm. And it's mental, it's full, it's packed, packed out to the rafters. And today we're off to find the other side. We're off to find a church, a pillbox, and a shipwreck. There we go, there's a wife. Hi! Location number one, church. St Mary's Church in Barrow. Somewhere there is a war grave in here, which will match him with our theme of hunting for ships and pillboxes and trying to stay out the raging sunshine. Gorgeous stained glass windows. That's the reason, considering the main road is 30 yards that way. In probably one of the busiest holiday resorts in the southwest. And we've got the most three church. And we're up that little sandy path over there. And there is our first pillbox. We dare not go across and do it because we'll get smacked in the head by golf balls at the minute because there's millions of people playing golf. So we're not going to venture across, we're going to stick to the path and carry on that way. Down there, off to find our shipwreck. Oh, there she is, so, up there somewhere. She's so there. <laughs> Can't see her anymore, she's gone, she's run away. So we're cutting through the golf course, off to find a boat or oh, shipwreck anyway. Apart from we don't really know which way we're going yet. It's all good fun. And to the beach. The shell's going to fall down the sand. I'm going to get loads of sand in my crocs. Because it was sensible attire for walking. <laughs> How lovely is that? Um, what we're going to be looking at, I have no idea. Is that actually there? And there is our shipwreck, all the way over there somewhere. That's where we're going. There's me taking it for a cultural day out, got to see a shipwreck. And all I've got from behind me is moaning that apparently the beach, yeah, it's a beach, apparently the beach is wet because the sand is wet. Well, we are just round the corner from Western Supermare, equally known as Western on the Mud. And Michelle is surprised that walking down an estuary bed is muddy. But we are off to see the shipwreck. Bless us. This is Normandy. Absolutely no idea of significance apart from it's beached here. It's slowly rotted away here for years and years and years. And we get to almost go and clamber inside of it. And the free option here is don't let the dog lick things up from the seawall because he's about to throw up everything. Actually, from here, you can make out the perfect outline of the boat. Literally, it's just where it's grounded, it's right away. Obviously, being reclaimed by the sea, that's the way to look at it, and it has been reclaimed by the sea. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Just the entire ship, just here in the middle of the beach. Uh. <laughs> so, we know we said this was definitely pretty much a mud flat. Well, there's the evidence. It's like clay all over my shoes. Don't Crocs it. actually might have turned out to be a really good idea because at least it's going to be easy to wash off. Whereas with Shell's trainers, I fear not. It might only be an estuary beach, but it's quite stunning, isn't it? It, is. it? it goes on for miles, doesn't it? Lovely. Building, just grabbing. Almost been building all the way grabs and kids have had some fun. But it goes on for miles. It goes all the way down to Breen Down Fort or wherever it is. It's a bit far today because it's probably a 10 mile round trip from here. It's a bit hot, it's still 25 degrees. It's cloudier, but it's still 25 degrees, which for England, very silly temperature. So this is the local farm shop. Michelle has gone inside to see if we can acquire some cold beverages for the dog. Maybe even a doggy ice cream, you know, no luck. 
plenty of marsh field stuff outside, so you never know your luck. But yeah, big garden centre really, uh, little nursery, lots of bedding plants, but equally, local grumpy cider. Ben is having a scoop stubby ice cream after his walk on the beach. And I think he's thoroughly enjoying that. Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah. It's all a bit hot, isn't it? <laughs> You're good. You can eat the cotton now. Oh, friendly. <laughs> Well, what a lovely site this is. We've come to stay at um, Hearn Lane uh, in Breen, so just be before um, Western Supermare and Burnham on Sea. Fabulous site. As you can see, it's a really narrow entrance on the way through, so you can understand why their arrival times are strictly one o'clock. Um, as you can see, both ways are very narrow and it's a single track road. So like I said, we're here at Hearn Lane just for a couple of nights. It's uh, Wednesday the 13th of July and it's a Scorchio morning. So when you arrive, you get pulled into here, met by one of the wardens, who then guide you through into the reception. They do have late night arrivals with electric hookup. Uh, they have, do have strict arrival times, which is really good. Okay, as you can see, coming up now to the entrance. Jordan's pet on the side here. And there you go. So it's a site of mixed um, hard standing and grass pitches. And um, that's the reception block there. And further down there, to there, there is the, for one of the facility buildings. There are two on site. Just a quick wander around. Like I say, mix of hard standing and grass pitches. When we arrived a couple of days ago, we were going to go on the grass. But due to the high temperatures, we did find a hard standing pitch which had some trees on it. So afforded us a little bit of shade. A beautiful site, very well kept. Very friendly. Okay. And around this side, and as you can see up there, is their very own pillbox, which I think you'll see on another part of the video. Facilities building and further down there is a play area, play park, because obviously they allow the children on here and the dog walk area. So our second pillbox of the day. This one is literally on the caravan site. Had we known we wouldn't have had to go and look for it because look, we're this far away. We just found it on the map and thought, oh we'll go have a look. And yep, they fenced it in, it's all pretty. So this is the grass area. He's got the grass pitches in. Yeah, and, then the, fully service and then Michelle says these are the fully service. Oh yeah, because they got the red markers, so these are the fully service ones down this side. Carry on round. It's a dedicated one-way system. So no using any other traffic on the way out. Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> You're not taking pictures of me though. I'm not you? videoing. <laughs> Lots of elementary signs you do have to follow the dedicated one-way system. See, it's pretty full. When we arrived, they uh, said they'd had an influx of bookings due to the good weather, and it's certainly been really lovely. service pitches um, and there are three pitches that they class as hard standing 
with no warning so they are always slightly smaller ones but there's only three of those we always try and opt for one with an awning because you get a bit more room in his basket. He's really feeling the heat this time. And as you can see, pictures are absolutely massive. What a wonderful place. And I'm sure we will visit again. Hi Paul!